Hi, it's Corinne. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I am going to do something that is new to me. I'm making this gorgeous frame and it is chalk couture. If you're not familiar with chalk couture, I'm going to put all the information down in the description box. Jessica Wilson, who is Craftin' and Stampin', is the queen of chalk couture. And she had sent this to me to see what I thought of it. And I absolutely think this is such a brilliant system. So I'm showing you here what I have. I have the angled squeegee, which they sell um, different, all different kinds. I use one of my own as well. And then I also have this gorgeous chalk paste. It's Chalkology, and this color is Caribbean Blue, which she knows me well because I love this color. And this gorgeous 9x12 frame. They have lots of different um, items that you could use this chalk paste on. And then here's this stencil. It's Family Rules. Again, they have tons of different stencils to choose from as well. It's not like a, a stencil where it's open in the middle. It's kind of like a screen print. So I'm removing it from the backing and you want to fuzz it, I guess is what it's called. So I'm putting a microfiber towel on it. You wanna take a little bit of the sticky off. So when it comes time to remove it, it's not too hard to remove. And these are washable and you can reuse them over and over. So I'm just placing it right on this high quality chalkboard and pressing it down, making sure that it's pushed down pretty well anywhere that I'm going to be adding the chalk paste to. So I'm even using my brayer and again by fuzzing it first with that towel it's taken a little of the sticky off so it's not going to be hard to remove when I'm done. I'm just using a little um, spatula that I have and I'm stirring the chalk paste very well. You want to make sure you stir it and if you haven't used it for a while you can add a little bit of water and it'll kind of reactivate it make it really smooth easy to work with. I'm using a baby wipe, just cleaning it off. You do want to clean off everything when you're done using it. You don't want to let it sit or it will ruin your, your um, stencil there. So it's, I'm just pulling it right out of there. I'm just going to move it around, kind of get it all down over the words. You want to get good coverage on it. And then I have this large squeezy that I had in my stash. A credit card um, would work well. They also sell all different kinds of implements that you can use. Just check out Jessica's site and you'll be able to find tons of different things. And I'm just making sure I have good coverage on the entire thing. And you want to scrape most of it off so you can reuse this paste. And like I said, this stencil, it's kind of like a, a screen print. It's not it's not open where the words are. There's like that screen that's um, covering it. So as soon as I'm done here, you, you'll, it's, you won't see it. It'll be off camera, but I'm taking it to my sink and washing it. And again, check out Jessica's channel for more detailed information. She's the expert on this. But um, I did, learning from her channel from watching it, I did use a... Um, Lysol wipe to clean the back of it after I washed it in my sink and that just reactivates the sticky part of it and you put it right back on your sheet and can use it over and over again. So look how beautiful that is. You can take your heat tool to it to help dry it. I just let it dry by itself while I was choosing flowers. I wanted a large standout flower on the bottom left there so I was kind of deciding but I go with something completely different here in just a minute. And I'm using lots of gorgeous wild orchid craft flowers. The frame by itself would have been beautiful just leaving it as it is. But if you know me, if you follow me, you know that I love working with flowers. So I wanted to dress it up and add some flowers to it. So like I said, I was just kind of setting things down, pulling out some of my favorites, trying to figure out what I liked, and I just did not like that. So here I pulled out some rosette trim, and I was really happy with that. I like the combination of the fabric with the mulberry flowers. The Chalk Couture, they have lots of different options to choose from, different frames, different type of mediums. You can add it to fabrics, pillowcases, shirts. There is so much that you can do with these. And the best part, in my opinion, is you can wash this off and add a different saying. So as I'm gluing these on here, I'm being very careful not to glue them on the chalkboard portion of it. I'm gluing only to the frame because it gives me the option to erase this essentially and put a different saying on it. You could do 
Um, if it's your children's birthday that month, you could do like a happy birthday sentiment. There's different things that you can do. They, they also sell uh, like alphabet stencils. But like I said, check out her website. She has everything on there. You can become a demonstrator under her, whatever you'd like to do. So like I said, I'm just gluing it right to the frame. I'm using some hot glue here. And how you remove that chalk paste is you just spray it with water, let it sit for just a minute, and then wipe it off. I used a baby wipe to wipe it off. And then when I was completely done with that, I used one of those um, magic erasers and it got it completely clean um, because when I was testing it out, I wanted to test it out first, how to work it. So I just cleaned it off, it came out beautifully and I was really happy with it. So now I'm using some Fabri-Tac and I'm adding some flat back white pearl trim again to the outside edge of the frame. I recently saw that Jessica also used it on a sheet protector. So on top of like a, a photo she was able to do, which I thought was really smart. Again, this is chalk paste, so it doesn't rub off once it's dry. You do want to let it dry or heat it with your heat gun to make sure it's dry um, before messing with it. But you could use different colors too. If you had other colors of the chalk, you could do certain words like um, big or loving in a different color altogether. So you can mix and match. And like I said, there's all different types of sentiments and sayings that you can purchase from there. So check out the description box. Stop by Jessica's channel. Her channel again is Craftin' and Stampin'. I'll have it linked down in the description box. And what a gorgeous, gorgeous gift this makes. I think it'd be so pretty to do for a child's room. Um, I know they have a saying, uh, your first breath took ours away different sentiments like that. So you could quickly put one of these together for somebody's wedding, birthday, or in my case, keep it in your house and change it as you wish. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. Check out the description box for more information. Take care.